let us discuss about bullous myringitis the word myringitis means infection of the eardrum this is the eardrum when there is infection of the eardrum and there is formation of the small bullae on the superficial part of the eardrum that is termed as bullous myringitis there is a definition for bullous myringitis this is usually because of a bacterial infection or a viral infection and less commonly because of mycoplasma pneumonia it starts like an upper respiratory tract infection patient coming of nose block along with running nose and he develops severe ear pain unbearable severe ear pain along with that they may have watery discharge or blood stain discharge in spite of this watery discharge blood stain discharge the ear pain doesn't decrease and they may complain of hearing loss also there are two reasons for this hearing loss one is see i have mentioned that the infection is on the superficial part of the eardrum sometimes what happens is in the middle ear that is just inside the eardrum there be fluid collection that can be one cause of hearing loss or this infection can can affect the inner ear that is a uh nerve cells in that case there will be sensory neural hearing loss so these are the two causes of hearing loss so on examination the patient will be in severe pain in agony and there may be ear discharge and after cleaning and when we introduce a camera and have a look of the eardrum it looks like this this is what i have mentioned before like a rain drop you can see a small vesicle or bullae on top of the on top of the uh, eardrum and this is the normal eardrum see the difference now when you do a blood test it may show a bacterial infection or oh a viral infection in case the neutrophils are high it suggests a bacterial infection in case of the lymphocytes are high it suggests a viral infection now we need to do pyotron audiometry which may show the type of hearing loss if there is a fluid in the middle ear it shows a conductive hearing loss and suppose the inner ear the nerve is damaged then it shows a sensory neural hearing loss and we need to do a impedance audiogram which will show or which which may indicate that the presence of fluid in the middle ear now the treatment the main complaint of the patient will be severe unbearable ear pain so the main treatment is going to be painkillers analgesics along with that you you need to give um, uh, anesthetic ear drops too so this ear drops can be taken twice or thrice daily at least for 2 3 days in spite of taking this strong painkiller along with antacid if the pain doesn't uh, get relieved it doesn't decrease we can i do some warm formulation too it can help a lot you we may need to take antibiotic in two conditions the first indication being the impedance audiogram which we have done it shows fluid in the middle ear or the blood test which is suggestive of bacterial infection in that case we can take a course of antibiotic if the pyotron audiometry the hearing test shows there's a nerve damage there's a sensory neural hearing loss then we need to give you a short course of steroids but the chances of developing a uh, nerve loss is very less it's more often is what we get is uh, middle ear infection commonly because of a particular organism called streptococcus pneumonia so now let us see the prognosis the result end result usually 90 to 95% of the patient they recover from this the severe pain decreases the ear ear discharge decreases by itself and with the course of antibiotic the middle ear infusion it resolves so this is about bullous myringitis thank you so much